I guess we're hiking down this. Ah. All right, hope you guys are just as excited as I am. Start this little hike now down this cliff. Oh, okay. Ooh. Dusty. Ooh. All right. Done with hard part number one, I think. Beautiful weather today. Oh. Ah. Temperatures today are in the mid 60s. I think is about to approach low tide in a bit so right now it's still outgoing maybe for another hour or so but the water looks actually a little murky and that's because today's tidal coefficient is pretty big okay which means that there's a big difference between the high and low tide and that big swing that big tidal coefficient means that a lot of water is going to be moving in or out and with a lot of water moving in the surf it's gonna stir up all that sand and that's why the water looks a little murkier but you know what that means if you stir up the sand what's gonna happen that you might expose some some of the bait that's in the sand like sand crabs and that's what fish in the surf love to feed on natural bait like sand crabs Got this whole beach to myself, baby. Let's go. Whew. It's hot. But we made it, guys. We made it. And from above, it looks like this is a good hold to hit. It's next to that structure over there. Some rocks. Seems a little deeper. The water is not too rough, actually. I'm surprised. And this is great. So let's set up right here. See if we get on some fish, baby. Look at this. There's a dead seal that's washed up over here. There's huge mussel shells all around. Like this one's huge. Look at how big it is compared to my hand. Sheesh. All right, here's what I'm working with today, guys. I have my Daiwa SP Surf Rod, my Pen Battle 6000 reel. My main line is 65 pound test. Then it goes to a slider, onto a bead, connected by a swivel, and then a little linker right here to my camera, my GoFish cam. And then I have 20 pound fluoro, fluorocarbon here, attached to a, a three-aught circle hook. And today I'm gonna to start out by using some anchovy that I have. Okay, there we go, should be recording now. It's a little weird casting this camera there, but oh well, Let's see how this works. Looking at the underwater footage now, my bait definitely attracted some perch. And then you can see huge shadow picks up the bait. And yup, that's a big striped bass, baby. That was fast. That was really, really fast. Oh, that's... No, it came off. No, it came off. No, it came off. Oh my god, I couldn't even put my camera down yet and set up my other pole. No, I can't believe it came off. That was a big fish. That was a huge fish. I was... Oh my god. 
Okay, I gotta look at this. I gotta look at this footage. And looking at the footage now, we all know that it was a big stripe bass. Here on the west coast, we have things called sand, sand moles, sand fleas, or mole crabs. You can literally dig into the sand for these guys. Oh, here's a fat one. But uh, striped bass love these. Perch, love these. I didn't get any more bites on anchovies, so now I want to see what happens if I throw on this sand crab on there and see how the fish react down there. With anchovies, I'm pretty much targeting bigger fish, but with sand crabs, perch could bite this too. Tied my own leader. This is 20 pound fluoro. I actually have a four ounce pyramid weight here on the bottom it's because I think the surf was a little, the current was a little too strong before. And when that current was super strong, I feel like my, my weight and everything, my bait was just rolling through the surf way too fast for the fish to catch up to it. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, uh, you know, something a little heavier. And my surf leader, this leader is super short. This leader is about a foot, super short. But it's so the camera, my, my underwater camera can see. Got a big sand crab on top, a smaller one on the bottom. I'm using this surf rod from Ray's Fishing. It's super light, really, really light rod. It's gonna be great for this, uh, this perch here. Oh man, look at this. I just found a sand crab in the sand. This is definitely a soft shell. Super soft shell. I'm gonna save this. Oh my God, what is that on my, on my arm? It's crazy. Look like a huge stinger on that thing. I know there's perch out there, man. I know it. There's probably like looking at my bait right now. If I could just get my bait in front of them. If I could just get my bait in front of them. So with the two ounce earlier, I felt my, my weight just flowing, moving super fast. With this pyramid weight, it's a heavier weight. It's, it's staying in one place for sure. What that means is I'm not covering as much ground though. And if there's no fish there, it's not gonna peck at it. So I think you just try to cover some ground, reel in a little bit. Maybe wait like 20 seconds there. If there's a fish, I'm pretty sure it will be interested. Come on, Perchy. I know they want it. I know they want it. Sometimes when I'm standing in the surf like this, I could just, I could look down when the surf's going out, I'll look down around me to see if there's a 
if I see any sand crabs that have been washed up. And it's usually the soft shell ones that can't burrow back into the sand in time because they just molted and they're super weak. They just don't have that rigid, you know, arm strength to burrow fast in there. Oh, they're gone, dude. Let me see how they would react to sandworms. I'm gonna just thread this guy on. Bites, little bites. Yep, there it is. Yeah, something's there. Something's still there. Oh, did I get it? Ah, nope. Probably small. It's time to check my bait for this guy. I'm hoping the line isn't all tangled with the camera, but I feel like it is. Super tangled. That's the sucky thing about having the camera on. Hard to not have this thing tangled up. I might have to take it off. I think I might just take it off and fish without it. Check this out guys, I found two sand crabs. This one is a hard shell. Its shell is hard. And this one is a soft shell. You, you, you could see already, it's, it's dented in here because its body is soft. It literally just molted. See the differences between them. Look at the color. See how it's still kind of translucent here? because his shell hasn't even hardened yet. But the other guy, it's not like that. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish on. Damn it. Oh, that's a fish on. Oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh, man. It's still on. Oh man, that's gotta clean this reel. Fish is still on. Man, I wasn't looking.
Let's get him in here. Oh, I hope he's still on. No! Yeah, he's still on. Oh, I need a service is real afterwards. Try to get him with this wave. It's in the surf. It's in the freaking surf. It's in the freaking surf. Try to get him in with this wave. Let's see. It's way down there. I see him. Oh, it's a ray. It's a freaking bat ray. No wonder it's just heavy. I see its tail just splashing. It's a freaking bat ray. Out here on the beach? On sand crabs? Weird. Damn. Pulled my damn pole in the, into the sand too. Come on in. It didn't look that big. There we go. Get him in with this wave here. So get you guys that picture. It's right there. Come on in. Come on in, dude. Let's go. All right. Oh man, do not expect that at all. Man, fishing for striped bass and caught a big ray here. I did not expect this at all. Pretty big ray. Thanks people for showing me how to hold this thing by the mouth. You look in his mouth, there's plates. This is hard. He's got plates on the other end too. Anyway, let's release him. He's got the barb on his, a stinger right behind him. Just gotta be careful. So uh, go ahead and release this guy. He's got that stinger right there. All right, bad boy. Peace. Look at that. Look at that thing. Whew. Oh yeah. Man, pulled my line into the water and everything. Pulled my rod into the water and everything. I thought it was a striper. 
Whew. That was a surprise. Put up a good fight. Just pulling drag. I had no idea bat rays would eat sand crabs. That was my first bat ray ever caught on a sand crab. Man, a bat ray? In the surf like this? Over here? On sand crabs? So many variables that I'm like, what? Doesn't make sense. Well, at least the sun's coming out now. I mean, not sun's coming out, but the fog is rolling out, rolled in, and disappearing now. I think it's time to call it a day. Sun's coming out. It was foggy earlier, but sun's coming out now, so it's getting a little hot for me. And I still gotta climb up this huge cliff. Still can't really believe that I caught a bat ray on some on some sand crabs. Was not expecting that at all. All right, time to climb up this hill. Taking a little breather right here. Woo!